So in the previous lesson, we talked about the PWD command, the CD command. Remember, the CD can do two things. It can, it can be used to change directory. And at the same time, you can just type only CD alone and it will take you directly to the home directory. All right. So we have another one, CD dot dot. This will take you one step up the parents directory of our working directory okay by the ls this list the files and directory which you've seen in our previous video so the clear command used to clear the linux terminal screen and the other alternative control l used to move the screen page one page down okay it doesn't necessarily clear it just move it one page down all right so for this lesson we are going to look at other commands and especially more of ls and its options all right hope you're ready let's go i'm opening my ubuntu and i believe we are in our roots we're in our roots directory here so we already know ls very well that is used to list files and directory so i want to explain some other aspect of this like for example now if i want to list out a directory like for example we have this bin here this bin is a directory so if i go to cd bin now for example because i'm inside the bin directory if i do ls it will list all the files and directory that is inside bin you can see it has listed everything they're actually much if i should scroll up you can see they're they're much okay so what it does that it's the ls has already know list every files and directory that is in our working directory okay let me just clear this okay let me go back to the parent directory using cd dot dots now there's another way of getting the same list of bin without me first going into bin so that's what i want to talk about so if i say ls then i'll put the direct the parts of well being is whereby i'll say start from the roots then the name of the directory which is bin so if i type ls forward slash bin it should show me that same list that you saw the other time but this time around i didn't need to first enter bin i just from this space directly i link it using the parts format okay so if i click enter you can see the same thing was listed out here all right so that is one tricky aspect of ls also let me clear the screen my screen again okay so next again okay we already know ls list stuffs okay so there is also an option called ls dash l so this dash l that l means a long list okay so the l represents a long list it will list this same thing that is here but this time i list it in a vertical long format so this is how it looks like i see three things that are there being this is our being boots this is our boots home this is our home everything is still the same thing but the l the option l here is a long list format so it lists everything in long list showing the informations about each of them all right so this other part is talking about permissions later on we'll talk about permission but it's not in this lecture but if let me just say one or two things about permission what it just means is that it creates permission for both the user i mean the owner the owner of the system a group and the general public user okay so that's what permission does all right like for example now this first letter d means a directory that means this is a directory this other one that starts with dash means it's a file okay while this thing you are seeing all this r w x r means read w means write x means execute so the first theory that's the r w r wx the first theory is for the um admin itself the owner the system owner itself okay for the next theory here yeah, is for a group by the last three permissions is for general public users don't worry you will soon get about you soon understand this better in the when we get back when we get to the shell share permissions part so for now just understand that we have ls dash l which lists in this format all right okay so let's see another feature concerning i think we are right now our home i mean our root directory so we the other time we talked about using ls dash la to see eating files and since there are actually no eating files so that's why we can't find any different files here 
we are going to see it. Hidden files always start with dots. We said in the other previous lecture, okay? So let me not just repeat myself in that aspect anymore. Okay, and there are, there's another command called ls l a n. I think the n is for ID, so it brings out the same list. First time I bring it in, a, in an ID format, okay? So that's just a little difference with this one up here. So, but, well, it just depends on the information you need. But the format of listing is still long lists as expected. The A still represent that it should show hidden files, while the N is the one that talk, brings about this ID format. Okay, so that is just that. Let me clear my screen again. So, what else? I think that's all about this. Okay, um, just like we are doing this ls dash la, you can still do al any arrangement you choose. It doesn't really matter. It will work for you. Okay, so this particular ls dash la has another shorter way of writing this particular one. Okay, so ls dash la can also be written as ll alone. So if you can see the difference. So once you just click ll, it will bring the same format of lists, the same stuff like that. So it's just an alternative way also. It's kind of like faster ll, or I want to say the ls dash la. All right. So let me clear the screen again. So I think we've talked a lot about this ls aspects. I think we can move on from here now. All right. So let's look at something. Um. Now let's look at the the more command i think that's the next let me check my okay pipe uh, yeah both of them are kind of like link so we are going to look at pipe command merged with more command okay so for us to really practicalize this i would like to use the bin directory so let me go to the bin so i'm inside my bin directory and since we know that once I list my bin. You can see the whole list of bin. It's kind of like much. The content are too much. Okay. So there's a way to do, there's a way to add a feature that will make it in a way that you can see step by step. You can see the way it showed outputs here. Just output straight up to the end. That means I have to be scrolling back up for, for me to see what is at the beginning. So this one may seem kind of like stressful and it's not really well structured. So that's where the more command comes in. Okay. So that's where the more command comes in. So if I say ls ls pipe more. So what this pipe does is that you can write two or more commands. Like once you write a command here, you can choose to write another different command here also. Okay. So whatever that is inside this ls will enter inside the next portion of your pipe, which is this our more. All right. So if I click enter now. The same file you saw there is the same file that is actually showing here. But this time is showing it well in an alphabetical order, so I can really easily scan through it gently without it dropping back to the ending. You understand? So for me to be going down, I have to be clicking my space back because it's just it's taking me it's taking me back back one page down. So if I click space back again, you can see so just as if I'm going through the stuff like that. So I get to the ending, okay, or if you want to just go out of this place quickly, you can just tap your letter Q button in your keyboard. So if I tap my Q button, that's exit, you can see I'm already out of it. So that's just how to use pipes, all right? So let me do it again. This time, let me just use LS, let me make it a long list format. I'm just repeating the same thing that I've already done. So, first time I, I'm doing it in a long list format, which is still the same thing, just that the long list has no long list shows more features. So, that's why you're seeing this kind of like more features, thing, but there's no major difference. So, I'm clicking my space bar to view the file names, and if I'm interested with the other information concerning them, the permissions and the likes, then I can check that also. So, let me just quit this by clicking on letter Q again. So, I'm out of that. So, let me clear my terminal screen again. Let me go back to my root directory. Okay. I always like using that ls to be sure that I'm in my root directory. Or if you want to use that, you can use your PWD. Okay. But usually I like seeing what is inside the content of whatever directory I am in. All right. So it's just like a best practice for me. Okay. So I think the next part we're going to move to now would be let's move to demand command. 
I think my command is there. Yeah. Actually, the last book, I can just look at it quickly. It's something very basic. So, man actually means manual. Okay. So, it's a short, it's a short way of writing manual, just like reading a document about something. So, you want to learn about different commands, you can just use M N L S. So, I want to learn about the command L S. So, I'll type man L S. I click enter. To take me to the manual. You can see name ls list directory content so i can read more have more idea concerning the ls i can see the options so it showed me many things about the option okay so you can just go about it read different information you feel might be helpful for you when you are done reading you can use your arrow down button to scroll it downwards your your lap your keyboards i go down and i go up okay so whatever way you want to go through it go through it then if you are done just click on letter q to exit the manual okay so let me just turn that example again man pwd which knows our parents i mean our print working directory okay if i say manual i want to read about what pwd means enter i can say print name of current or working directory then i can read about it and see more of its options that has more features okay so let me go back out of this again so i think that's that about man manual stuff so let's look at the last part i think it's the last part less command okay we have less we have file command all right so let's look at the less command now so what the less command does is that it just shows us the content in our file i think i have i created a file down so let me just quickly go to my brain directory. remember the shots we are going to play directory. so just type cd enter or cd and this stuff but no need of putting that just to your cd and to take it directly to your home directory you can see the symbol has changed so this symbol is a symbol for home directory so i'm in my, I'm in my home directory i want to enter this side this file mind you linux is case sensitive so you notice know, we have two directories here we have get we have tests so I should say cd tests now this is my first is small letter this one is a capital letter it won't work for me so Linux is very case sensitive so, so i have to say cd test i have to write it exactly the way it is written there for it to enter okay all right so i created a text file i think yeah this is it so i can view this text file actually another way for, for viewing this text file is also cuts like there's a command called cuts but let's not like we want to practice it just say maybe cuts test text file or whatever name of your file then enter to show you the content of your file okay but it's not really it's not something we should use for a long text file you understand so it's not really advisable to use cat cat is just for a short to write up very short sentence one or two sentence so this text file that i created i actually made a long text a long text inside it that's why i chose not to use this cat format so i'm going to use the less command okay so now to use the less command, I'm just going to type less and the name of my file. Then enter. So these are the content that are inside that file I created. All right. So I can be scrolling down to read to I can scroll up. Just use your arrow down and your arrow up button in your keyboard. In your keyboard. So just to scroll around. You can also use your space bar. Okay. So space bar will just move it very faster in the way. To take it one page up all right so you can even from the beginning you can choose to if you want to go straight to the ending of the file you have to you just tap your keyboard letter g yeah, the g must be in caps lock maybe in capital letters if i type g you can see that take me straight to the bottom part of my contents of the file so you guys just have to play around with this anyway so for us to get out of here just type your letter q quit so we'll quit the viewing of our list so that's just what less command does so less command just displays the content that is inside a file okay so i think the last part for us to talk about now is the file command so now what this what file command does now what file command does is that it's 
it is help, it is helpful to determine what kind of data a file contains so you can remember we have different type of file in linux so the file can be a picture it can be a compressed zip file it can be a normal text file it can be an html text file so whatever so i think we already created a file here called text file so let's just try it with this our test text file that we that we've already created so i'm going to say file text file enter so to just give me some info concerning that file the type of file so it's term that is utf8 unicode text so just like a normal plain text file that is inside as means an image that is there to let me know that this is a jpeg image okay if it's a zip file to let me know that it's a zip file or something that involves archive all right so that's what file command actually does no much thing about that and lastly lastly i'd like to say something remember so remember we should, i always do cd dot dots first move one one parent up like the parent of our last of our working directory so if i click this it will take me to the parent of our test okay which is our which is the lexis code home directory okay so let me do again cd test let me go back inside the cd test okay so i want to i try want to try i want to try something unique okay so what i'm thinking about doing actually so let me clear this let me clear this screen ls okay we have we have i made a directory here which is new dir whatever okay so i chose to name that directory that we are now to enter that directory so that's our new this Okay, now I'm inside that directory. Now I want to try some sounds to list. You know, if I do, for example, ls, there actually there's actually not inside. That's why we're not seeing anything. If I do ls, now I want to list what is inside my test file. You can see this ls now, for example, is inside. We list this ls command in our working directory, in our test working directory, which shows what is inside that directory, right? Now I'm inside this new directory, and I still want to list what is inside my parent directory of my root directory which is this test directory so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write ls so i'm i want to list dot dot so that dot dot means i'm going back up to my parent so that means this ls now will work on this test not this new directory okay just like you've been doing cd dot dot that's taking us up okay so this time i'm we're working on, on list which is ls so it's going to list whatever parents that is at the top parts of that's the parents of our new directory so i click enter you can see it bring out the same list that is here also and inside our test um directory so that's just a little thing i just feels i should add to this so i hope you understand this very well don't forget to like and subscribe have a lovely day